Good evening, uh, public. Happy New Year. I would like to call the January 27, 2022 receivers meeting with the public to order. At this time, if we could uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, States of America and, and to, to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation under, under God. God. Indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice, and justice to all. Thank you. Uh, before we jump into the reports from the superintendent, I do want to make a notation of a minor change to the agenda as it pertains to public comment. I think for a more effective way, what we'll do is have general public comment at the end of the meeting. And after each section, agenda section, education personnel, and uh, the business office will offer public comment for action items only in those sections. So I wanna make note of that. And, and we will in the new year be enforcing strictly the three minute rule. Mr. Jarman is going to be our time manager for that. Oh, there he is. Uh, he, will, he will ensure that the three minute rule is enforced. And again, as the receiver for the Chester Urban School District, I encourage public comment from citizens each community member may speak for a period of no more than three minutes. Please understand that this is not a time for dialogue with the administration. Rather, we will listen to all comments and consider them in further deliberation. If there's something that is pressing, most certainly our email addresses are on the website. You can contact me directly and any member of the cabinet. If there is a specific complaint directly about a personnel matter, please send an email directly to Dr. Craig Parkinson, Superintendent of Schools. All right, Dr. Parkinson, we'll have your report. All right, good evening, Receiver Nichols, Madam President Neal, school board members and the Chester Upland School District community. We continue to do great work in the Chester Upland School District. Um, this past week, we returned, we returned to in-person learning um, successfully. Uh, the two-week pause that, you know, from the in-person learning worked out very well, allowing us to return after the Omicron variant reached the peak within our community. The number of infections continue to trend downward within our community. We have held four successful vaccine clinics that have led to 133 additional students, staff, and community members to being vaccinated. We ask those who are still in need of their vaccination or booster shots to come out to one of our four remaining vaccine clinics, and that information can be held, excuse me, can be found on the website. I'd also like to take this opportunity to, to publicly congratulate Mr. LaDante Bell, who was named as the coach of the year by the Philadelphia Eagles. He will now move on to the next round, which will take place in Las Vegas, where we hope, to, hope and pray that he is recognized as the National Coach of the Year. Once that happens, he will then be treated to a trip to the Super Bowl where he will be recognized. Well-deserved, continue to support the great work of this amazing man. And this is something that Chester can truly be proud of. And uh, finally, I would like to um, end the superintendent's report by showcasing some of our students at STEM High School who kicked off their reading program with the students of Setzer Elementary School. This is a wonderful thing our young people are doing. They are serving as mentors to our younger students and are providing them with encouragement uh, to do great things in life. And I'm gonna ask the technology department to cue the video and enroll with that, please. All right, um, receiver Nichols, this, this was, um, you know, discussed earlier, but we're gonna move forward, I, you know, for the sake of time, um, maybe we can show that at the, the end, we can end with the grand finale of the students um, from STEM reading to the students of Stetzer. Okay, hopefully we'll have it resolved. And again, for the public, I do apologize for the technical glitches. We will work feverishly to ensure that this doesn't happen. I, I, I have to tell you, I, I don't like it, but uh, we'll, we'll make sure that this won't continue to happen. Uh, thank you, Dr. Parkinson. Uh, our student rep reports. Mr. Martin, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? All right, and yourself? Floor is yours. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, thank you, Receiver Nichols. Good evening, Dr. Parkinson, and good evening, all the elected school board members. I'm Akel Martin, a senior at STEM Academy, and I'm here to give you a student report. So um, this past month, we've had another high Q competition. Um, the high Q team sadly did not win, but they were only one point away from a victory. Um, we've had more college acceptances, and we've had students receive a Keystone scholarship from Cheney University, which means that their entire tuition for their four years of college was covered, and then any postgraduate um, Anything that they want to pursue postgraduate is also covered. So let's say a student would like to go to medical school or law school, that is fully covered. So we've had multiple students receive the Keystone Scholarship. Um, our, our STEM Spirit Week was a success, and we had a door decorating contest, and the winners um, received the Chick fil A party, and that was also a success. Um, our upcoming events include um, a talent show, auditions have begun for that. Um, we also we also have a doc. Um, we also have excuse me. I'm sorry. We also have Dr. Thomas Butler who will be visiting STEM that week to talk to students about medical careers and who hope to have um, careers in the medical field. And then we have a vaccination clinic which will be held today along with the report card conferences or which was held today excuse me along with the report card com um, conferences where community members were welcomed and allowed to be vaccinated. Um, thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Mr. Martin. At this time, are there any presentations from the superintendent and the cabinet members? All right. Uh, at this time, we will move on with the approval of the minutes of the previous meeting of December 21st, 2021. There were, there were some corrections uh, to the minutes that Madam Secretary has noted. And with those notations, I will approve the minutes from the previous meeting of 12-21-2021. Right. Again, we're gonna go into the education agenda and how it will work. Dr. Sutton would present A1 through A4 before the, the vote consideration. If anyone has any questions related to A1 through A4, they most certainly can ask at that point. Dr. Sutton. Good evening, everyone. Receiver Nichols, we have four agenda items that we're seeking approval of. Uh, A1, approval to adopt and approve determinations from student hearings. A2, approval for additional 25 seats in the CHS Excel Academy. A3, approval for four staff members to attend the PDE Data Summit. And finally, A4, approval to enter into an agreement with Think and Grow Solution Incorporated, DBA Think and Grow Farms. Thank you, Dr. Sutton. Are there any public comment on action items A1 through A4 at this time? I see a hand, Madam Secretary. I see uh, Mr. Ham and Ms. Mosley. Okay, yes, Mr. Ham's um, hand has been raised. Let me see if he needs to speak to this. Mr. Ham, can you please unmute yourself? Go ahead. Mr. Ham, you can speak. Says he's not muted, but I don't, I can't hear. Now, can you hear me? There you go, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. A, um, A2, approval of additional 25 seat at Chester High Excel Academy. Could you elaborate on that for me? 25 seats as in more, what is it now? And can you explain that to me? So, so uh, uh, Oh, that's, oh, you, you, you it's no, gonna no, be, you, not, I just asked my questions or you wanna go no, back? No, 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 you, you, you can ask about agenda items. I, I think I was hesitant because I didn't know if Dr. Sutton was gonna jump in or not. But it's, yeah, I didn't it's, know if you want. It's the, if you wanted um, me to respond. Oh, I, I'll take a crack at it and then you know help me out if need be. But okay. this is uh, formerly known as Camelot, that the program that we have in Chester High School, and uh, uh, the, the additional twenty five seats is for some students who need uh, credit recovery aspects, you know, to make sure that they can graduate timely. And uh, this was a way in which we could have those students graduate uh, with the graduating class of 2022. That is beautiful. Great. That 
That okay, I just wanted to understand that. So in actuality, from my understanding, it's students in Chester High School are actually being moved to Camelot. Exactly. Correct. Yes. At, okay, look, beautiful, beautiful. Um, approval for four staff to attend this uh, this summit. Are the four staff um known of as of yet? Yes. So they're members of the curriculum department and the members okay. of um Chowder County. Okay. Uh I just something well, did I miss because I'm coming from work, did I miss my time to speak or I'm no, late? No, no, Mr. Ham, uh for for your we'll start it early. We're gonna do it um at the end. Uh, I kind of oh. changed it up a bit and have I like now talking about action items now, and then we'll do the regular public comment, general public comment toward the end of the meeting, at the end of the meeting. I, I applaud this approach. I like this. Beautiful. Um, kudos. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, now, the approval to enter to and this agreement to think and grow solution, think and grow. I'm pretty sure I didn't, I think, uh, how much I, I didn't, it's, I didn't research that. I didn't look to see how much that's costing. That is not going to be a cost to the district. It's a part okay. where they can grow. And Dr. Parkson, if you want to elaborate on this new program that they'll be doing at STEM and Chester High School. Oh, it's at uh, STEM and Chester High? Correct. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you, Receiver Nichols. Yeah, it's um, Think and Grow program. We are actually partnering with this company. Um, it's an urban agriculture or agricultural um, opportunity for our students where we're going to actually start to grow um, food and okay. different things. Um, and we're actually going to focus on our students becoming entrepreneurs. So it's a great opportunity for our students. Uh, more to come. The, this actual group will actually be presenting a uh, put, providing a presentation that's going to outline this um, to the community. But I'm really, really excited about this. And and again, this is for our students at the Chester High School as well as STEM. So it's um, a joint effort with both, both buildings. Okay, follow up on that. Um, where are they located and when will they be? When will this actually be implemented or take place and take shape for our students? Great question. They will Timeline. Be, yep, they, they will be located in um, Chester High School um, physically. I mean, where, where's Think and Grow located? Where's their location? Yeah, they're, where they're are they coming from? Yes, yes, yes. They're cu currently a company that's um, in Montgomery County. Um, in Montgomery County, that's, okay. Yep, that's there where their their LLC is, their their where their business is. But they will okay. actually physically physically be on this campus. Um, Good. With our children daily. And the timeline that it's going to reach our children will be. Yeah. Yes, you know, with, with approval. Within which? With, within know, a month? Within two months? Within, within next within, week? <laughs> Once we get approval this evening, um, the goal is for them to come out and meet with the building principals, and then um, we'll, we'll roll this out to the students within this um, February slash March is the plan. That's Thank the timeline. You. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Ham. Mm -hmm. uh, Madam Secretary, are there any other hands? Yes, uh, Ms. Arnold's hand is raised. Ms. Oh, Arnold. Hi. Good evening. I have a, I guess, a concern for A1. We have had periods receive a nickel square. The student hearing numbers were skyrocketing. And I have some concern that they seem to be creeping up again. And I just ask that we do everything that we can possibly do to make sure that we are. I guess doing the right thing so that um, these hearings will possibly be reversed. That is that is noted, Ms. Arnold, and, and I agree with you. And we will do everything that we can to uh, try our best to keep the numbers down based off of what happens in the climate of our schools. Yes, I was having difficulty getting on and we haven't gone past Section A yet, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Are there any other uh, hands, Madam Secretary? No, there are not. Okay, with that, I hereby approve item education agenda items A1 through A4 approved.
Dr. Chambers, we'll move on to personnel. Good evening, Receiver Nichols, Superintendent Dr. Parkinson, school board leadership, cabinet members, and guests and Chester community. Bringing you the personnel agenda for January 2022, seeking approval for B1, appointment, reinstatements, reassignments, appointments to be rescinded, salary adjustment, termination, resignation, retirement, leaves of absence, suspension, payment for teaching the sixth period course, fall, middle and winter school coach, the rest of life noted. Seeking approval for B2 to award Ms. Alicia Floyd a stipend to offer support to the Digital Academy for various areas that impact our students, students scheduling, Naviance, registration, credit entry, verification, and the amount of $8,000 through the end of this school year. And that concludes the personal agenda for January 2022. Thank you, Dr. Chambers. At this time and before I open it up for any uh, questions on agenda items uh, under pers the personnel agenda B1 through B2, I just would like to note that personnel items, the district are, we're kind of restricted as to how much detail we can go into. So I wanted to make that acknowledgement prior to open it up for any questions about B1 and B2. Are there any hands, Madam Secretary? There are no hands raised, sir. Oh, wait a minute, Ms. Arnold just raised her hand. One moment, please. Okay, Ms. Arnold, you didn't speak. Yes, thank you. I noticed that we had two reinstatements uh, for persons that were on the agenda last month and uh, they were um, suspended without pay. And I'm just hoping, I know that you have uh, restrictions about what you can talk about. I understand that and I honor that. I'm just putting my vote in to hope that their pay is retroactive. I'm thinking about what happens when someone is um, experiencing a, an interruption in their paychecks and what have you at that time of year. So I'm just hoping that their salaries can be retroactive. And I'm not, and I'm not asking for a comment, I'm just putting in that, that vote of support. The second thing I would like to say is that I noticed that there are payments for teachers who have been teaching six period classes. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Receiver Nichols, you are not aware of the difficulty we've had in times past about those payments. What I would also ask you to do, sir, is double check to make sure that all of the teachers have been paid and that there are none that are outstanding. And I would like for you to also um, review payments for teachers who are covering classes to make sure that they are compensated. Sometimes it seems that they are missed and uh, I want to bring that to your attention, seeing that you are new to our district. Thank you, Ms. Arnold. Are there any other hands, Madam Secretary? No, there are not. All right. At this time, I hereby approve personnel agenda items B1 through B2. We'll move on to our uh, business agenda, Mr. Fazio. What's here? And I'm back. There you go. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for the pl your pleasure of your company. I, uh, I'm asking the receiver Nichols to approve C1 reports from the tax collectors. That's a collection of our uh, December real estate taxes in the amount of 605600 $38.37, the approval of the treasurer's report and the budget report, and the general fund budget of 
uh, expenditures of $8,305,944.77 and the payroll expenditures of $2,261,000. $624.65. And I, and I do want to acknowledge um, the staff in my office, uh, Ms. Mosley and Ms. Chapman, um, tremendous uh, asset to the district. And uh, without their help and assistance, um, these three items wouldn't um, be able to be accomplished in, in the timely and efficient manner that they, they are. Um, C4 is the uh, approval of an updated ARP ESSER health and safety plan. C5 is the approval of a vehicle donation. Um, and we'd like to acknowledge and thank the Bethany Baptist Church. Um, C6 is the approval of uh, our solicitor who handles our tax appeals, um, Ms. Van Blonk uh, from her, uh, her own law firm. And finally, the approval of an agreement for the sale of our tax liens, which should bring us in excess of uh, $4 million. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nichols. Thank you, Mr. Fazio. Uh, there are hands, Madam Secretary. I don't see any hands up. Oh, Mr. Ham has raised his hand. One moment, please. Oh, he put it down. Okay. If anybody would like to um, ask a question, you can please raise your hand. I have no hands raised, sir. All right, seeing none, I will hereby approve business agenda item C1 through C7. All right, at this time, we will now open the floor for public comment again. Mr. Jarman will be the timekeeper. We will have uh, three, we will be enforcing our three minute rule. Uh, yeah, Mr. Jarman, you got your clock ready? All right. I'm, I'm ready to go, Receiver Nichols, when you are. Thank you, sir. Madam Secretary? Yes, sir. We have uh, Deneen Mosley. Right. Deneen, can you please um, raise your hand, um, speak? Good evening, everyone. This is Deneen Mosley, and I just wanted to, um, I guess, con uh, share with the board um, and the receiver that I had concerns about um, staffing and academics um, at Chester Upland School District. And I've asked questions uh, in the past um, and this forum really wasn't the forum to go deeper. So I followed up with a uh, meeting directly with Dr. Sutton. And I just wanna go on record saying that that meeting uh, was held. It was very productive. Um, Dr. Sutton was very prepared. Um, we had very open dialogue about the challenges around staffing, but also the plans that are in place to improve staffing and to really make sure that academic stays at the forefront of what the district is trying to do and what that plan looks like across the district, not just at the high school level but also at the elementary and the middle school level. So I did wanna publicly go on record stating that it was a very productive meeting. I thank Dr. Sutton for his time and his preparation. And there will be follow-up you know, on my part to follow up and kind of see for myself some of the things that was discussed. I also um, encourage Dr. Sutton to make sure that these efforts are known and shared with the public when we're doing um, updates so that people hear about the efforts and know that there is work in place to address concerns that community members have had for a long time. So I wanted to say thank you, Dr. Sutton. Thank you, Ms. Mosley. Are there any other hands? Yes, Ms. Ms. Arnold has her hand raised. Ms. Arnold. Thank you again. The first thing I would like to say is thank you all for your wonderful efforts for the COVID clinics that you are holding at our different schools. I think you're doing a tremendous service for our community and um, they are well organized. Uh, you have wonderful treats as incentives for folks 
coming. And um, I want to thank you so very much for providing those services for our citizens here in Chester. The second thing I wanna do is send a shout out to STEM students and Mr. Bell and Dr. Udi, who is a teacher there for language arts. She has, with the help of the students, published an excellent student newspaper. I saw it today for the first time and she uh, showed me her second or third edition, which is going to be in color. It's on newsprint and I, I'm going to ask if we could possibly put that on the website because the students and she are doing an excellent job there with Mr. Um, Bell. So please note that that is an excellent activity that is taking place and uh, let's get the word out uh, for that wonderful work that she's doing there at STEM. I told her I was going to put her business in the street, so to speak tonight. So I'm telling everybody. It's a good thing to know. Gorgeous work, absolutely gorgeous work. It is, thank you, Ms. Arnold, for that. And, I, and I, uh, I didn't know that. I would love to have a copy. I'll, I'll get Mr. Bell to make sure that I, in fact, I'll stop over at STEM and grab a copy. Thanks for that. We'll make sure that we'll get it up on the website and showcase our students and teachers. Uh, any other questions, Madam Secretary? Yes, sir, there's um, Daryl Jones. All right, Mr. Jones. Yes, good evening. Unmute Receiver yourself. Nichols. Yes, good evening, Receiver Nichols. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Dr. Parkinson. Good evening, uh, school board. Uh, I'll be brief. I did give you a hand delivered copy of several questions uh, that concerns NAACP and Chester. I would just like to touch on three uh, is security personnel at adequate staffing levels. That's number one. And how would you access? academic success at this point, that's number two. And the third one is, what are the plans for more community and parental involvement? Okay. And Mr. Jones, I thank you for your letter. I did receive it on yesterday from you. And it is my hope and plan to have that uh, a written response to you uh, no later than Monday. I know that I spoke with Dr. Parkinson as well. He received a copy. And, and he had some uh, notes that he will be at, you know, we'll be working on two separate letters or combining our letters to respond to you. Um, in fact, what we'll do is, if you don't mind, I, I, we can publish it publicly some way, shape or form, the questions that you ask and make sure that it, our responses are published publicly as well, if that's all right with you and the NAACP. That would be fine. Okay, that's fair. All right, are there any other questions, Madam Secretary? No, there are no other hands raised. Oh. All right, if there are no other hands raised, I will hereby adjourn this meeting.